Hello, today I want to talk about a top selling one pin connector, Y11A1, a horn connector for Toyota Lexus. This is a Y11A1. You will see this on Toyota Lexus horns, um, all of them, uh, pretty much. And um, some Subarus are going to have this. Uh, of course, on our website, we'll list it under the uh, vehicle, you know, year, make, model breakdown, uh, so you'll know what it uses. Um, you can also type in this part number on the website. It'll kind of give you a, a overview of what it's used for as well. Um, but let's uh, let's do a quick uh, D-pin uh, repin. I'll show you how to install it, remove it. Uh, these can be a little annoying just because the way the catches are designed, and it actually slides just behind it here. And so what you're kind of doing is bringing that screwdriver down in between that groove to kind of lift it up. They can be a little bit annoying uh, to get out, but once you kind of figure it out, it's not too bad. Um, this is one, of course, fully installed. Um, of course, the terminals are plated, uh, so they, you know, as far as corrosion and stuff like that, they do pretty well. But you can always use dielectric grease um, since these are not a sealed connector, which is common for some reason for horn ones. Um, I like to use the dielectric grease. Again, optional, but I would recommend that whenever you install it. So this is how uh, you might see it. Typically, it's going to be like this, but you might also request it like this. Um, so what we'll do first kind of like some of the other videos I've uh, shown you, it's only going to go in one way, right? So let's try to install it backwards first. And uh, our lock is just pulled up just a little bit. So we'll try to install it. Of course, it doesn't go in. Hopefully, I don't mess it up by trying to do that, which I shouldn't, because I'm not trying to force it, right? So immediately, wrong way, you feel a little wall the right way. It slides right past it, right in. From there, you would push your lock down. And I don't know if you heard the terminal when it clicked into place, and then as well the lock did a little click once it locked into place. So from there we know that that is uh, locked in; it's not going anywhere. If you needed to take the wire out, so say we sent it to you with the wires installed, um, and you wanted to do a repair with it, you know, out of it, or uh, maybe the wire and terminal are still good on the car. All you need is the uh, plastic body. Uh, I'll show you real quick. So. For me, I actually like to pull the yellow little secondary lock all the way out, um, so we kind of can pop it up. There's that little groove right here, so we'll pop it up. And excuse me, trying to do this on a camera can be a little bit tricky. And then I just get, there's a little notch in it, I just kind of pull up on it, pop it right out. From there, uh, I've got to get down into it, so I'm going to turn it to myself to look at it, right? Okay, make sure I'm kind of oriented correctly, now let me bring it back. So I'm sliding down in between that groove of that terminal, like I was showing you, and we'll see uh, the screwdriver is a little bit larger, but I'll see if I can get it the first time here. I kind of get down until I feel it stop, lift up, and it came out. Now they're not all going to be that easy, especially not one that's been on a car for a while, but it's just kind of a matter of kind of feeling that plastic right when you hit that catch, and then lifting up. Um, if you're slipping off of it, you probably got to position it kind of in more to the center, kind of going into that pin to try to get under that catch to bring it forward. Um, it'll be kind of hard, you probably won't be able to see it, but the catch does kind of stick up in there a little bit and uh, that's what you're kind of pulling one direction uh, away from that terminal to get it to release. So we'll do that again, so we'll take it, actually let me see if I can show you here. So we'll bring it in, locks in, uh, then we put our catch back in. And you could have this half installed before you put it in, or you can do it after, it doesn't matter. Let me make sure I'm doing this correct. There's a real narrow groove that that slides into. And then that's it, basically, you're reinstalled. So uh, a lot of the cars are going to have uh, one of these per horn. Um, I, every once in a while, maybe two. That's usually going to be on a different style connector. Uh, usually it grounds to the body of the horn and then uses one per horn. Uh, if you got a high and a low note horn, obviously that's two per car. So just be sure you check uh, both horns. Make sure those connectors are good before you uh, order one of these. So that's it. That is uh, D-pin repin on Y11A1. Again, this is our most popular uh, horn connector that we sell.